Please, uh, please apologize. <laughs> um, so for me, the best multiplayer experience, you know, Call of Duty was good for the first month or so. Lately, I've been annoyed with it. Um, <laughs> it was nice going back to Halo. Not that that's like a new game that came out. Well, but, they um, did. They did Reach. Reach is new. So by yeah. Well, okay. Um, for me, it was definitely Apex. Like, you know, I, I know Matt and I both dropped off. I mostly just quit because Matt quit, though. I was mm. just a follower in that. But um, that was like, out of all of the Battle Royales that have come out and out of all the multiplayer games I've played, like, part of me still wants to go back and play more of that game just because the it, the combat was very tight. Um, Just with most multiplayer games, one of, one of the reasons I was glad Matt quit was because um, it takes a lot of time. Yeah, it expected out of you, way too much. That was like the biggest problem games. I had with the game. It expected yeah. way too much of you, especially you. You spend ten bucks on their battle pass, which like you're giving them money, but they still make it this huge struggle to get to the end of the battle pass. Like yeah. if you're gonna pay money, I get that you don't want to kind of give it away, but like make it so that I can play like a few games a week and get all the rewards. Not I gotta play for two hours a day for yeah. three months straight. That's insane. Yeah, um, that's pretty much what you had to do. But uh, I, I totally loved every minute I was playing of the game. I thoroughly enjoyed it. That the controls were very tight. Made me want to play like Titanfall two again. Um, you know, Respawn did a good job making that game that came out of nowhere seemingly. Uh, a couple of honorable mentions. You know, obviously I said Call of Duty. I was enjoying for a period of time. Um, also, I want to do give him one, uh, one honorable mention to WoW Classic because, you know, that was, I, I think, even though it wasn't for me, that was a big deal to a lot of people. Yeah. And, you know, it made a lot of people happy and it seems like they did a really good job with it. Um, I haven't really heard anybody super complaining about it or anything like that. I mean, Matt's still playing it. I'm assuming it's still fun. Yeah, it's greatest. I mean, that was actually one of my honorable mentions too. I didn't, I don't think it should win just because it's like a 15, it's just really, yeah, it's a, just re-releasing re a 15 year old game, um, but they did a good job of kind of keeping everything the same. I, and also, I was like, actually thinking next year we should make maybe best remake a category. I was thinking that, yeah, because there was a lot of good remakes this year too. I mean, I think yeah. Resident Evil 2 would automatically win this year. For me, it was yeah. Link's Awakening, but I mean, Resident Evil. Oh, you also haven't played Resident Evil 2, though. Ex exactly, but yeah. I, I, like, so that's kind of hard to... He will play it by the end of this year. No, I, I will be playing it eventually. Uh, I don't have to play it by the end of the year now, because we're doing this podcast now, and it's too late. <laughs> so... <True. laughs> don't give him any excuses. I've, I've been saying I want to play that game since it came out. You're I just so haven't... Good. You gotta, I, now you got to play it before 3 comes out. I really got... Oh, did three, you, play, did you play the remake of 1? Yeah, but I don't care about 3, really. Really? Yeah. Oh, right, I love that. I think it's because I never three played was it. 3 was my, my favorite. I never played... 3 was like the one I skipped over. Oh, that was, that was my favorite. So, that 2 was my favorite, but I'm excited to see... Because I did enjoy 3, but I'm, I'm excited to see what they do with it. Because it's know, not going to be the same game. And they did. Yeah, so they're changing a lot of stuff, yeah. which I'm excited about. If I play 2 and love it enough, I'll probably want to play 3. But like as of right now, just because I never really... Like, had a huge, like, Resident Evil 1, I loved. Resident Evil 2, I remember playing and also enjoyed, but I w didn't like as much as one because I liked the puzzles more in one. Mm. Where are we going with this? Best multiplayer experience. Yes. Um, so, yeah. I we just went to a single player game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Strictly <laughs> single just, player. Let's just go all over the place. Um, but, yeah, I, I'd have to give it to Apex for me. Uh, Dan? Um, so, I had three, but my number one would be Call of Duty. Um, yeah. I think... The fact that they did everything right, um, you know, they had a bunch of maps, they had a ton of weapons, a ton of attachments that you can unlock, uh, tons of camouflages, all this stuff, a great single player campaign as well on top of that, um, and uh, tons of different uh, multiplayer like modes, whether it's, you know, gunfight, gun game, deathmatch, um hard point they, they and then they're swapping all things the other up. ones that neither of us play yeah um <laughs> but they're but they have the option uh they even have one that's called like infection which i thought was neat where one person starts off with a knife and throwing knives and the every time they get a kill they they get people on their team and i didn't even know about that one and it's the last person standing like is uh like gets probably the mo gets obviously the most points and whatever, but um, but they're always constantly giving like giving updates. They just added an old map from an old Call of Duty game, um, which I thought that was map really neat. Sucks. I know it's it stinks, but it, it shows that they're going to add more to the game for free. Uh, you didn't have to pay anything. Yeah. Um, but just day one Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare this year felt like it did way back when I was in college with Modern Warfare Two. Um, where it was just, it, it just felt like it took over, um, you know, the, the, the gaming world and a lot of people were playing it. Um, so just because you're bringing up Call of Duty, I do want to 
just because I'm thinking of it. Um, so if this, if we did this podcast like maybe a month ago, I think Call of Duty for me would have been way, uh, way closer. But I think like the just the last week, couple weeks of me playing, it just left such a bad taste in my mouth because it, it was really like what's pe- changed. That- people figured out the maps. People figured out the camping spots. You know, it was it was getting to the the point of like not being fun. I think Hardpoint might change it a little, but I feel like shotguns are even more powerful in Hardpoint. <laughs> yeah, but it, I mean, it depends on what game mode. So I started playing Hardcore, um, which makes people. Oh, that's that's so, what I meant. Hardcore. It may, yeah, so it makes it so that people are are one bullet away from dying yeah they're one bullet away you know like real life (laughs) yeah so um we're all one bullet away from dying absolutely um but um but yeah like it just left a bad taste in my mouth like it started it it was inhibiting a lot of the things i didn't like about call of duty but that's but had we done it a month ago like my initial reaction for that first like when did it come out october uh end of october i believe yeah for that like first month like i and i i don't want to that go to the wayside that I thoroughly enjoyed that multiplayer experience for that like first month. It was just towards the tail end where it's like, I, I think they, they need to bring back the, um, the, the tag one. Um, what's the tag game where like when you get a kill, the person leaves uh, dog kill, tags, kill confirmed. Did they get rid of that? Yeah. They removed it for a little bit. Oh, so I think that's the, because that makes people get out of hiding to go get the tags. So I well, think, uh, not if you're camping in a building with a shotgun, because then you can pick up the tag immediately as soon as you kill them. Well, that's true, but I mean, at that point, someone's got to get in that building. Sorry, but, Dan. What's so, the rest of your list? So, Call of Duty would be my my nominee. Um, my two, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, honorable honorable mentions, mentions would be um, Death I Stranding. Know. I know it's technically not a multiplayer experience, but it's. I would call that a multiplayer experience. Yeah, so, but way. again, that's why I didn't nominate it as number one, because um, it was. It was the help of other people, and like I said, yeah. the the idea that you're you know someone put a ladder here feels like oh wow someone's playing this game just like I am. They're they're trying to sneak around this part of the mountain because they're lazy and they just want <laughs> and they just want to go this way because that's the straight na- and narrow path, right? Exactly. So it's kind of neat to see like there's other people that play like me in a game that's very unique. You know, someone wants to go this way or. Whatever, so I thought that was kind of special. Um, and then my third one would be what Andy said, Apex Lunch. Um, Apex Lunch? Yeah, Apex Lunch. Um, launch, <laughs> mm, jackass. Get me a play to that Apex Lunch. Um, <laughs> so it, it was it was neat. Unfortunately, I just can't stick to a Battle Royale long enough. I just feel like it's a waste of my time, unfortunately. You did enjoy playing with I did us, enjoy though. it, but I mean, just like with every Battle Royale, I get bored of it. Actually, oh. a lot of multiplayer games I get bored yeah. of it. Um, it's like me with the looter shooters. It's just not something yeah. that can hold my yeah attention. attention. But um, I just feel like in battle royale, I just I end up spending way too much time just preparing, and then a fight happens, and I'm just not ready. And then I've spent 20 minutes not doing anything, just prepping, and I die. So not it's not my cup of tea. But I did um, I do know that it was like an important part for gaming, especially when it was trying to uh, compete against like Fortnite for like battle royale because nobody was doing it right um what's the what's the other one um there's there's uh fortnite there's apex and there's um there's uh player player yeah PUBG. (laughs) um but they all just felt like uh, PUBG and fortnite just felt like almost like an add-on or they just didn't feel good they just and this was the first one that actually felt like, hey, you know, when you're aiming at someone, it actually freaking hits them. Yeah, this might be the first one that was built from the ground up as exactly. a battle royale. The other so, ones were kind of like, oh, they just changed another game into a battle royale. Exactly. Well, so, PUBG started as a battle royale. That's all it was. Yeah, it was just, it? but it was just it? clunky. Yeah, and, but it was the first was just, one. Yeah, it was kind of so basic. It was, yeah. yeah, it was so basic, and, and, and it just was uncomfortable to play. It I would love to know the story behind the whole Fortnite thing and how they decided to do that and like what was like as a fan of the original fortnite game it's all very annoying to me that they like yes. moved all of their resources yes. to this yeah. battle royale did they just the game did they itself. just like is the original campaign type thing gone um i don't think i think it's, I think it's free, still there nobody um, even knows about it though like yeah it's it's if they made it offline i would have played it like if it was just something that you could just hey i'm just gonna build my own world it was kind of fun it i mean it, you liked you played the campaign yeah well, I, well that's out. what i was more excited which is weird because that was an online only game wasn't it uh, it was, but I, I, I was, I wasn't hundred percent sure if you could build your own level and then keep it like it wasn't Which connected. You could. Yeah, but I didn't know if it was connected. I didn't no. want people connecting to it because I didn't want to lose it in case. Yeah. So, but I didn't like the fact that yes, later it was. Yeah. You could lose um, it. 
just sorry, Matt, just to circle back to me, I do want to throw out one more honorable mention. Um, it's an honorable sure. mention because it did not come out this year, but it came out like right at the tail end of 2018 and was still a lot of fun, even though I don't really have anybody to play with ever is Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Oh, yeah. Which I was surprised to see even at the Game Awards because it came out last year, but I think that's just because of how they came out after the last Game Awards. And yeah, because they, they air like the beginning of December. Yeah. It came out in December. So. You, you know, Dan and I played that. I would still like to play it a little more. Um, some, some more Smash Brothers because we haven't played it in a while. But um, it's just unfortunate that it's like a party game and, you know, it's, yeah, just, it's just it's not a party game that everybody likes to play. So it's not always something yeah, you get a chance I to mean, play. It's fun and they added all those characters, but it also feels like a little, I don't want to say stale, but it feels like, you know, it's just more Smash. No, almost. it is it's just like, more Smash Brothers. It's just a better version of what yeah. they've already been doing. Which, which is why I just wanted to mention that that yeah. was a lot of fun I had earlier in the year playing. Um, so, Matt, you? Cool. Um, yeah, so I would, I'm going to start with uh, Apex Legends was kind of my overall choice. Um, again, like, I think for me, I'm someone that doesn't like, um, you know, uh, competitive multiplayer like against other people like I love playing with other people in co-op games but not competitively against them so for this game to kind of draw me in is kind of um, just kind of special in that regard and just the fact that they had that kind of amazing stealth launch where there was this big important game that ever, like was going to be a kind of a big discussion point for pretty much the entire year a lot of the, most people didn't even know it was coming out like two days before it was coming out it just kind of dropped like hey do you know there's this battle royale game from you know, the people that made Titanfall yeah, that's coming it was out, out tomorrow. Nowhere. I was like, what? It's like, oh, sweet. So I just downloaded it and kind of blew me away and how 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 fun, how engaging the action is. And just, you know, the the little, um, the, the the kind of improvements they've made to the formula, just just the little simple things like being able to ping something that you want to like huge. Sh show. Huge. That, that stuff was huge. Yeah, that you want to be able to show like a partner that's some, that like, oh, there's something important. And just like being able to revive a player. So even when you die... Like you, it kind of builds your camaraderie where you 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 don't want to leave the game, and hopefully they'll they'll come and save you, and they're kind of like you know risking their life to save you, and then you get you come back and you've got you've got no weapons or anything, and you're kind of yeah. he, they're kind of helping you build back up, and it's like oh man you you kind of thankful that this guy saved you. It's just it just kind of adds another layer to keep it exciting even after you're dead, which is cool, and just kind of the gameplay, the different guns, and everything they've added, I felt like was a lot of fun. Yeah, um, just like just how how much you know, getting a different modifier to your gun can improve things and just kind of the drop drop of like legendary items or whatever they're called, the the kind of gold ones that have all the attachments, how exciting it is to find one of those. Because you only find those like one out of every ten levels if you're if you're lucky. And then just the feel that feeling of getting kind of the, the top three or when it's just you and one other team in this tiny little circle. I mean we all know how battle rails play, but I feel like I don't know, it just felt like as as someone that was their kind of their first big battle rail that I was playing, it was kind of special to me. Um, okay, so for other ones, I was going to say WoW Classic, which was just kind of an honorable mention that I don't think should really win based on its oldness. Um, which you're still enjoying to this day. Yes. Um, Division 2, which is a, a more co-op game that I had a blast playing with. Um, it was, <clears throat> that was another game that came out earlier this year. I'm kind of surprised that it didn't do as well. Um, but like just as far as like a looter shooter, the, the, the game, the world felt vibrant. Like it felt like... Um, just like getting all the different upgrades to your weapons was a blast. Just being able to play with other people. I think one of the downfalls is it like it, it kind of felt like matchmaking got kind of got a little difficult. Like if you wanted to play with someone on a specific mission, sometimes you would have to wait too long or it was kind of unclear about how you would actually get a group together. So I feel like that was something that kind of kept me from being able to get super into it. Like they didn't have they did have a clan system, but again, it was just kind of something where you're in a clan, but you don't see these people. There's no really way to easily talk or communicate with them so i feel like the gameplay itself and this the way it played was fantastic but maybe just kind of the the multiplayer trappings weren't um implemented implemented as well as like a you know maybe a destiny or something like that um and then the last one i wanted to mention was call of duty which is a game i haven't played myself but i've heard I, i've played um so I played Black Ops 4 and I enjoyed it, but I felt like it was kind of lacking in content. And then I know like the um, the 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 World War II one that came out was kind of not well received. But it seems like everything I hear about this is like this is kind of the best one that's been out in a long time, and it just seems to be getting getting a lot of people back into Call of Duty. I, sorry, I just randomly thought of a game, a multiplayer experience I forgot to mention. What's that? Uh, Tetris 99. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. that was a that was I a good to one. Put that on there. That that's a lot of fun. That was a good Did you one. ever end up playing that? I play that like every week. Oh. They, they made yeah, a physical version it. of that game too, out of nowhere, because they added so many different uh, like modes now. Now it's oh, just, I've just yeah. been playing just the regular one. 
Like the, one, like once a week, if I'm bored, I'll be like, oh, I don't want to play a round of Tetris ninety nine because I still have that online. I still thing. get. I've never. I've come. Oh, cl- that's fine. Number three was the highest. I got one. Again. You once, won? just oh, once. it's so every hard. other time. The closest I've gotten is like yeah, like four or five. Half the time I'm like, oh, I know the tactic. Nope. <laughs> get wiped out um, in the first like five minutes. Also, a couple things I want to mention because um, Matt brought it up, and this I think this actually should play a huge part in decision making. Is I want to give a lot of credit to Call of Duty for how they kind of handled things early on they didn't really like over um overdo it now granted you're paying 60 dollars for the game but they didn't overdo it with any like microtransactions or anything like that out of the gate that that was pretty huge for me is just like hey here's the game here's the multiplayer you can unlock everything in the multiplayer and you know especially after the shit that happened with uh black ops 4 with like all the crap that happened with that i know like they're starting to push the microtransactions now, but I don't think they've become very aggressive or anything like that. Nope, nope. They're still, you can earn everything. It just takes longer Whereas for you Apex to do it. was a, granted, a free game, but the, the way you had to buy things with them was a, very egregious. Yeah, that's kind of why I fell off, because they were kind of so pretentious with yeah. their pr- model pricing and then just the way they were acting on uh, social media. Yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah. I, f- I felt somewhat disrespectful to the people that were playing um, the game. But... As far as like actually multiplayer experience, I still loved Apex more than yeah. Call of Duty. Even even when I was playing Call of Duty for like the first week or two, like I was still loving um, uh, Apex more. I played it for longer. Like part of me still wants to play it sometimes. So my my vote goes to Apex. I feel bad. I feel like that's like the third one that we've <laughs> beaten Dan out of. It's not it's not engineered, Dan. Mm-hmm. To be fair. I went into this saying Ubisoft for biggest dumpster fire. Matt changed my mind. Blame her. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh. See how it is. See how it is. It's gonna get worse from here. Oh no, I'm gonna I'm gonna win one of these. <laughs> it's oh no, about, it's gonna get worse. I'm gonna win one. When he starts telling me that Death Stranding should be game of the year, that's when uh, that's when we're, we have to let's let's not get into that yet. Oh, it's gonna happen. Oh god. Uh okay. Um we're gonna go on to let's see. Um, nope, saving that for later. 